guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. up sherry here from the fx cleaning crew how's it going so happy holidays um i just want to make a quick announcement that i am going to be doing readings again uh so the information will be in the description box i've taken a little break uh and that's so that i could work on my book so it's done now i've added all the information that i wanted to add um, and so what i've done is approached tarot and spirituality from um scientific point of view. So I get deeply into quantum physics. Um, I explain how consciousness um, happens. It's actually um, due to standing waves uh, and by dampening um, of these standing waves. So consciousness is actually created within the void, within the gap spaces. But I'm getting ahead of myself there. Um, so I also talk about the structure of the universe, everything is sound and numbers. Um, and I also explain that this information is ancient, so I get into um, sacred geometry as well. Um, everything can be traced back to the Vedics. <clears throat> so we already had um, a theory of everything thousands of years ago, but it's been forgotten. But we're starting to remember now, so awesome. And so, you know, that's basically what this channel is about. It's about consciousness and awareness and uh, raising the, the, the vibration of the planet. Um, so, yeah, I'm uh, excited about it. I'll probably give a little quick synopsis of it at the end of the reading. Um, and what else did I want to say? Oh, um, for the readings, just make sure that you uh, wait until I respond uh, to the email before you send any payment. Um, because I want to be able to get the, the readings out to you guys within 24 hours, okay? So that way, you know, things aren't, you know, chaotic for me. So I can do it one at a time. Everybody will um, be rotated through, <laughs> except for my patrons. Um, if you've been a patron, I definitely will give you a discount. And also, you know, in, in celebration of the holidays, um, I'll also give a little discount for those of you who are returning uh, for a second reading. Okay, so I missed you guys so much and I'm so happy to be back and I love you. All right, cheers. Hi guys, welcome to this week's um, Divine Masculine reading. Uh, so this is for you Yang out there. Um, it's for December the 23rd until the 30th. So I think I'm going to just use um, different cards for the reading. I'm going to be doing a split divine partnership reading. So this is Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. So I think I'll use it for the first row. Okay, and... So, John Holland, Psychic Tarot. Okay, and the last row. Um, let's see. Uh, let's use, what is this called again? Fairy by Lenormand. So I ended up making that synapse of the book. Um, for purposes of saving time, I'm only going to attach it to the Twin Flame reading. Uh, so. It's about a half an hour long. I actually go through the book, explain exactly what I've done. So if you want to check that out, 
set the end of the twin plane. And we'll use for the bottom of the deck, let's just pull a random card from Osho Zen Tarot Integration. Wow. Okay, let's talk about this first. Now, in the Twin Flame reading, the masculine um, is recognizing the Twin Flame connection. Okay, he, he received a lot of synchronicities and signs. He's making changes in his environment in order to integrate or reintegrate the feminine into his life. And that's what te this temperance card is about. Um, the yin and yang symbol, right? Joining of dualities into a harmonious mixture. So I think I'm going to read that as a final message from the universe at the end. Okay, so how does the masculine feel about the feminine? Romantic feelings. Oh my God, right? Uh, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So the masculine feels love for his feminine. He feels passion, um, a deep emotional connection with her. He desires her. Okay, so I'm actually going to pull a clarifier. So let's just um, shuffle my deck here. Right. So one card is a clarifier. The tower. So this is outside forces coming in, shaking up your world. So all the illusions are coming down. He realizes, you know, that this connection is true love. Um, he's making some major realizations, illumination, um, as a result of a tower that's happened in his life. So, from the destruction, the phoenix rises, okay, and this is, you know, the tower is a major moment, you know, a light of, or a bolt of lightning that comes out of the blue and just tears down your reality, um, and he's, he's fine with it, because, you know, he's holding love in his heart, and love is the, the fuel that the universe requires in order for um, you know consciousness to be sustained otherwise it collapses back into the void so love is a fuel that drives you know life consciousness this a reality so what is he resisting is honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together again there's that boat moving across the water so he's resisting moving forward, right? Remember that Six of Wands um, in the near future? It, it's the same boat. So he desires to get away together, alone, honeymoon. Be together, enjoy each other. But he's resisting that. Why? The chariot, again, movement on water. This is movement forward, taking control, um, directing your energy towards that goal, using your will to drive you forward. So, yeah, there's, there's that same theme of desiring to be together on an emotional level, level connecting. He's um, resisting that. So what is his higher self saying to him is to stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So your higher self is um, it's telling you just to focus on the positive things, right? Don't, you know, the final message for the Twin Flame reading for you was you're focused too much on the physical aspect of yourself. Um, you know, spend time alone and loving yourself. Pour that love, that, you know, gratitude for life. You know, just feel that. And love yourself. The Ace of Cups, beginning a new love. Um, 
your higher self is telling you that what you're feeling is true love there's an opportunity beckoning to start this new connection or to move forward right and stay optimistic be happy there's you know this woman is offering flowers um, she appreciates you she's um, thinking of you so continue being in that positive you know live from the heart what happened in the past crown chakra activation so again, this is pointing to the twin flame connection. There was this illuminating moment, probably came in very suddenly. The crown chakra is your direct connection to source. This is where inspirational ideas come from, creative ideas. You know, um, quantum information is just floating around in the ether in your subconscious mind. And when consciousness focus focuses on that thought, that's when it becomes reality so there was a moment of illumination <clears throat> okay so the two of wands is moving to a higher level seeing all the possibilities expansion so there was major expansion happening here in the past so again there's an opportunity beckoning the door is open all you have to do is move through this is also realizing that you are the universe looking back at yourself when you look up at the stars so wow you know the universe uh, and the collective consciousness um, is really prominent the present position wow the magician awareness so this is the self-conscious mind the self-conscious will um, this is the alchemist he uses consciousness clarity focus attention to manifest whatever he desires so in the present moment the masculine has the crown chakra open um, and he wants to start that new love he wants to manifest a new reality after the tower Very, very, very nice. Okay, one card, the Queen of Pentacles. He wants to manifest the feminine in the 3D. He wants to be with the feminine in the 3D. He wants to share his abundance, his life, um, with the feminine in the 3D. It's quite crazy. The future. The Six of Pentacles, material and spiritual prosperity. So this is reaping the rewards. Um, this is sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. This is looking positively out into the universe, into the, the world. Seeing the beauty of life. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm feeling strongly is, is making that decision to share your life with the feminine. So the Three of Pentacles, more earth. Three of Pentacles is a solid foundation. Being recognized for your talents, doing what you love, and prospering from it. So you're working towards manifesting something, and here we see that manifestation happening, but not only that, not only is a reward, but there's a solid, grounded foundation for the future. The tower knocked everything down. Here you are rebuilding. Message from the universe. Um, what is this? Oh, this is about social gatherings. Um, being like involved in in something. Oh gosh, I might as well just read it. Okay, twenty. So, communing. This is the house of getting out and about and mixing in the world. Um, this is the world of social engagement and entertainment. 
Okay, so parties, conferences, meetings, society. So the universe is telling you to get out there, socialize, connect, be romantic. Nice. High Priest. So remember this was a card that was in the heart space for the Twin Flame reading. So um, what I'm seeing here is form your vibe tribe, share your knowledge, um, live from an authentic place and you will attract people towards you. What is in your external environment? Aww. This is like the lover's card. Romantic feelings. You feel that love near you, surrounding you, holding you. Six of Wands, you feel successful about it. Right? It's giving you momentum. Um, you feel like you're on the right path. You're feeling encouraged to move towards love. And what do you fear? The journey. So this, there's a lot of mountains there, a lot of perilous things that, you know, go bump in the night. Um, but I think this is, what this is kind of talking about is you're being protected. So let me just see. 21. Okay, so, <clears throat> so durability. Um, so this house relates to and describes um, enduring nature and survival and growth. So the mountains are carved out by glaciers and stand in testament to great strength. So you can overcome obstacles. Um, you have that durability. So it's in your fear position, so you're, f you're scared of the journey. You're scared of venturing forth. You're resisting making that connection. But ultimately you... you you reach out. Yeah. <laughs> eleven eleven connections waiting for you. So th the main theme this week is that the masculine is really thinking hard about reaching out to the feminine, maybe possibly taking a journey to go see her. Um, he's afraid of what might happen. He's already walked through that door and he's trying to manifest this reality. He wants to become whole, to come into union with the feminine. This is the ultimate union card. The soul is intertwining. So let me grab the book and I'll read a little bit from it. I don't know if I can remember where it is, sorry. <clears throat> okay. The conflict is in man. Unless it is resolved there, it cannot be resolved anywhere else. The politics is within you. It is between the two parts of the mind. A very small bridge exists. If that bridge is broken through some accident, through some physiological defect or something else, the person becomes split. The person becomes two persons. And the phenomenon of schizophrenia or split personality happens. If the bridge is broken and the bridge is very fragile, then you become two. You behave as two persons. In the morning, you are loving, very beautiful, in the evening, you are very angry, absolutely different. You don't remember your morning. How can you remember? Another mind was functioning. 
and the person becomes two persons. If the bridge um, is strengthened so much that the two minds disappear as two and become one, then integration, then crystallization arises. What George Gustav used to call the crystallization of being is nothing but these two minds becoming one, the meeting of the male and the female within, the meeting of yin and yang, the meeting of left and right, the meeting of logic and illogic, the meeting of Plato and Aristotle. Wow. So that's the message from the universe is move forward towards that integration you know, become whole within yourself first, and then everything else falls into place. All right, so I do hope you enjoyed this reading. Please leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. All right, cheers.